Ah, oh, we're a little bit late. Why have we got a bloody black screen? Oh. <laughs> Hold on. It's alright, no one's watching yet. No one's watching yet, so we're alright. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, oh. There we go. That's it. I don't expect many people to come along on this one because it's later than usual. Well, I say usual. We don't have a usual run, really, do we? But it's later than I, than I said it was going to be. So, uh, oh, get rid of that. There we go. Oh, we've got a few there, look. Evening, love you. Ah, oh, cheers, Super Aiden Link Productions. Right, let's get this opened up. Because I've got... Oh, bloody hell, what's happened here? How are you? I'm doing all right there. Cheers, Mike. How are you doing? Well, Brad, that's no problem. Hello, bye. Thanks for stopping by. And keep up them videos, because I've been enjoying your ones as well there, Brad. You lot. <laughs> right. Hang around a minute. I'm going to open it. I've got one of these funny iPads things again. Paul King. I'm doing very well there, Mr. Paul. Uh, how are you doing? Just bear with me. I'm not being rude. Uh, I'm just... I've got one of these iPad things. And I'm using it to read the comments. Because what happens is I can't read the comments up there. This isn't particularly anything, you know, it's just uh, just for us to talk and to, you know, converse. There's nothing particularly RC related in these live streams. Um, right, I'm going to have to turn the volume down, otherwise I'll get an echo and a load of feedback. Alright, there we go. Now I should be able to read the comments. Put that under there. Put that under there. There we go. <laughs> Love it. For those of you that are interested in CB, by the way, I know some of you are... Yeah, do the, do the like button hitting thing, please. That's very kind of any of you do that. How many people we got? 11. Oh, oh, look at that. 11 people already. <laughs> For those of you that are like, um... What? Is that in your, in your truck? Yeah, but... You love CB. Ah, oh, Mike, you got a tractor there, Mike. Well done. Well, for those of you that like CB, Thunderpole, they've got, because I have um, a T800 in the van, a Thunderpole, and so they put a new microphone. So I, I, I was talking to Andy, who owns the Thunderpole, and I said, I, I want to have one of the new microphones. Can you send me one? So they sent me a new one of the new microphones there to test that they're now selling these with the T800s. So I'm going to test that, for those of you that are interested in... Uh, um, CB and also they got a new CB coming out the T3000 which I'm hopefully going to get my hands on because it's on pre-order now But hopefully I might better get one and uh, we'll do a review on it But that'll be on the other channel but for those of you that are interested in CB anyway You got a new Holland T7 210. I used to drive a T7. It was a 200 though um, T7 200. I used to drive it in my old job Hello, Andrew. How you doing there, dude? Yeah, I used to drive a T7 in my old job, and I bought a load of T5s. They sold all the bloody 8210s and bought T5s and a T7 and a T67. The T67 was all right because it was pre-emissions, but the T7 was had, had blue on it, and it kept blocking up. And in the end, someone poured water, or it was hydraulic oil, in the diesel tank when I was away once, and that messed it up. After that, it misfired. It only ran on five cylinders, but they said it was all right, but it weren't. It was only running on five. It weren't running on all the six, and then I got the sack, and then that was that. So, yeah, plenty of CB stuff coming up, whoever's interested in that. What's that little bit of... You rebuilt your fuel pump. Got a fuel pump and all is good once again. Proud of myself. Ain't strong enough wood. <laughs> well done there, Roy. Well done. I'm glad you managed to fix it. It's pimped out with air horn, CB air rules, CB radio, straight pipe exhaust. Yeah, I take it you work on a farm then, Mike. Obviously you do. I'd love to have my own tractor. Do you know what? They're going for some... Some tractors are going nice and cheap now, but I can't afford to buy any tractors. But they're going cheap. I had, I had the chance to buy an 8210 with a broken clutch for a £1,000. It was one I used to drive. The clutch went, and they were stuck, and they was going to sell it. And I said, how much if I was to buy it? And he said 1000 But I didn't have a 1000 so I couldn't have bought it. But a £1,000 for an 8210, I'll... You know, that is, a, I wish I could have done it. Agricultural contracting. That's what you want to be in, dude. Yeah. Have you got, I bet you've got the twin aerials on the, see a lot of farmers, you see, 
a lot of farmers they don't set up their aerials properly. I see I see them all the time with the twin aerials off of each mirror, but they don't set them up properly, right? So they don't work properly. You know, they're probably all right when they're in the field, but when they go out of a distance, they, they don't set them up properly. I'd love an I'd love an excavator of my own and all a digger. Hello, Colin. Colin, there, dude. Everybody, that is Mr. Colin Ketley there. Say hello to him because he's a good old bloke. He is. You have an air horn on your Scania R450, Tim, do you? Well, I think most lorries come with air horns, don't they? Not all of them. In fact, funnily enough, there's a lorry where I work. He's got air horns, but he's got an ordinary horn, and it's all linked up to the same button. So when he presses the ordinary horn, the air horn comes on, but, but they both come on at the same time. It's stupid. Sounds ridiculous. Yeah, have you got your tractor remapped there, Mike? Yeah, it's probably all right with a straight pipe. Did you get rid of all the ad blue and everything in it? <laughs> I've heard that Stobarts, Stobarts, or however you want to pronounce that, I heard that they're pretty bad to work for. And what you see on that television program ain't all the glamour that that that, it, that they portray. I've heard it's pretty bad. Oh, it's only what I've heard. I don't know. You work there, Tim. You know, we work for them, but I've heard that they, they pay bad and they and they crack the whip a lot all the time. Oh, you're lucky, are you? So who we got on here then? All right, good stuff so far. So what's been going on then? Eh? Let's, let's try and find a topic to talk about because I haven't really got, it's been a bit, I planned on coming on here um, every, after doing everything, but then all of a sudden things just started to go a bit funny and uh, started running a little bit behind. Do you know what? I've got a couple of air horns. I had them on the blade. Um, and I had a little compressor and everything because they come with air horns on the roof and I had a little compressor because they didn't link it up. I've still got it in there somewhere. I keep meaning to do things like that. I had one on the... I had, and I had an air horn on my Land Rover. Um, but then I went for a puddle and it messed up, so I took it off. I have to try and put another one on there. No work to do on the RCs. No. Well, yeah, there's plenty of stuff to do on it, but I can't do it live because I told you before, it's not good. If I put the camera to it, I can't see what you lot are saying. And it's just, you know, so we're just talking in these live streams. Until I can, until I can work out... I'll tell you what I'm trying to do. Hold on, let's read these comments quick. How's the stalker collection going? The stalker collection is going all right. I'm still trying to find a stalker. Who asked that question? D. I'm still. Uh, I'm still trying to find a stalker nine DX. I think it was stalker nine DX. Yeah. I'm still trying to get that. Find one of those in my budget because they're they're bloody expensive, man. I wish I'd never sold that Gentech. That Gentech transceiver Mark V. I wish I'd never sold that because then you know whatever. I'm glad you understand, Andrew. Thank you. I just bought them so I can. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough then, Mike. All right, you lot, Snodge Noodle. Looking forward to another My Day video, Phil. Yeah, so am I. I'm looking forward to getting that running, actually. Well, it's running. I'm looking forward to getting it going. Yeah, a bit unexpected the other day when I'm, well, I, you know, I was just standing in here, as I do sometimes. I just stand and look into thin air. I think I've got something wrong with the brain. Sometimes I just sort of stand and... I don't know, just look into thin air. Anyway, I was looking at it and I thought, oh, you know what, I'm going to put them CV things on there. So I did, and I thought, well, you know what, I'm going to film this. So I filmed it, and that's why you got that video. That's why it was a bit unplanned, though, really. Uh, I am after getting a CB rig and a good mobile aerial, if you know anything. Dude, Mr. Roy, that is the most... That is the most sort of commonly asked question, and broad question that everybody asks you know i'm a member of the a few forums and that always comes up and people always say to me oh i'd love to get a cb what do you think well the trouble is there mr roy um it's not always that simple i mean i could recommend you a cb to get but it you can buy a kit from thunderpole but you've got to set it up properly and everything. But it depends what you want to do. Do you just want to do UK FM CB, general CB, or do you want to go a bit wider and do sideband and DXing and all that kind of stuff? What do you want to do, mate? That's the thing. 
How's your layout project going? Layout project? Can you expand a bit? I don't know what you mean by that there, um, Tim. I bought my CB arrows from eBay. Did you, Mike? Well, it's a good place to buy things, but, you know, sometimes you don't know what you're getting. Where are we? Train set. Oh, train set. Yeah, train set. It's not going anywhere. I haven't done a thing with it. <laughs> it's as simple as that. It was on the floor. I tripped up it once and I hurt my little toe because <laughs> I was in. I don't know why I was wearing. I didn't have any shoes on. I was in the garage. I didn't have any shoes on. And I hurt my little toe, so I thought, fuck you, you train set. So I put it in a box. Um, did you sell your power? No. The Savage 3.5 is still here because I want too much for it. It's as simple as that. But he won't let it go for any. He, he paid 70 quid for it. He wants top dollar for it. It's worth 250 quid to the right person in the right amount of time. Um, but, but because of that, people, you know, times are hard. And people these days just want to buy a new RC car. That one is in mint condition. I could probably sell it if I was asking 150 quid. I dare say it would go no, in no time at all. But... You know, he, he wants top dollar for it, and I don't blame him to be honest, because it, it's worth. It's a good. It's a good car. You got to stay on. Yeah. What's the best nitro RC nitro you've had? The Savage, eh? The Savage. The Savage. You know what? Would you look like to see? I mean, I know I've explained it many times before, and I have done dedicated videos on the Savage. But would you not like to see, like, an actual... Would you like me to do a video of the actual, like, full story of of that Savage? Because it's quite a long story. Like, I could probably sit there and tell us tell the story for, like, 20 minutes, probably. Right? Whatever. Something you'd like to see? I don't know. So the Savage there, Mike, is the best is the best one I've had. The MP9 is probably coming up close to it, but I ain't used that enough. And the Savage is a bloody good truck. A lot of people do, do disagree. And a lot of people... That Kevin Tolbert bloke reckons the Savage is hard to work on. Well, I find it's bloody easy to work on. I think it's easier than most other cars to work on. What's the matter with him? You remember that bit of my old man trains out in the garden? So it's chestnut. Garden Railway on YouTube. What? Have I seen that? I ain't got a clue. Get the RS going and get down to Donington Park Sunday. Look, dude, the RS that needs that needs a remap badly. I can't drive it. It goes too lean. Every time I every time it goes past about two and a half thousand RPM, it goes so lean that all the spark plugs explode. I mean, you've seen the videos. So it needs a remap, and to get one of those dream science things, they're 450 quid, I think it was, 449 or something like that. Uh, can't do that right now. Uh, yeah, so that ain't going to happen, unfortunately. I'd love to, but it ain't going to happen. I used to go to all I used to go to Silverstone, I used to go to BP show, not BP, BHP, sorry, BP. <laughs> BHP, and all. I used to go everything in that car, and until I messed it up. Where are we? Uh, sounds good. Only 20 minutes. What do you mean only 20 minutes there, Connor? Are you taking a piss? <laughs> Are my videos too long? <laughs> yeah? Have I seen that video then, Tim? you asking me, do I remember it? You remember that? I'm, have I seen it? I honestly don't know. Like, it's no offence if I've seen it. Well, because I watch so much things in, in life, I just forget and I've got a bad memory anyway. What RS do you have? Don't you know then, Andrew? It's a Mark One Focus RS. Mark One Focus RS. Bought it in 2011 from some drug dealers up in Bedfordshire. And they ran it into the ground, see? I had a misfire when I bought it. The fuel pump was bad. Um, yeah. So, I got that and still got it. Trouble is, though, I tend to make things worse. <laughs> I put the turbo exploded on it, so I put a new turbo on it. Uh, it's also manifold fell off, so I put a new one of them on it. Um, yeah, intercooler. No, it had a charge cooler on it. They come with a charge cooler, and then that leaked a bit, so I put an air-to-air -air intercooler on it. Uh, AirTech one, big one. That's got a leak somewhere. Um, yeah, but the main the main thing is I put 750cc injectors in it, but I had to take them out, and then I put high lift cams in it that were modified that were they were from a, a rally car, a fan nose, so I put them high lift cams in it, 
and the trouble is now that it overfuels too much on the, on low RPM, but it underfuels too much on a high RPM. Oh, right, where are we? Uh, oh, I see. They do need looking after, but I don't look after. Well, I do look after things, but I need you need a lot of money to look after an RS. Yeah, it, that that RS did go. For, <laughs> I've driven that through a field, actually. Believe it or not, it was going. I took a bit of a shortcut. There's some traffic once, and there's a uh, the gate was open to one of the fields, and there's like a lane that goes down the side of the field. So I just went down it. <laughs> but those RSs, you know, they 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 rally them, didn't they? Like they they make them into rally cars. So it's, it's meant for you. Money, Andrew, is the key with many things. And when I bought that RS, I didn't know what I was buying. When I bought that, I was on the market because I had I had Saxos, Citroen Saxos before then. Uh, when I passed my test, I had a Saxo 1.1, and then I bought a BTR for five hundred pounds. Um, I stripped all that out, done a load of work to that, put a um, a new beam and everything on the back, done all the brakes. Um, but it was only a VTI, so you know, I wanted 16 valve. But so I went and looked at some of them, and I thought, I want to get a new car. And I, like, I see the Focus advertised, and I thought, I'd like the look of that. So I bought it. And it was only a, a couple of weeks after I bought it, a friend of mine said, Do you know you've got an RS there? I said, what? What is it? He said, that's an RS. I said, what's an RS then? He said, well, that's like a fancy Focus. It's like the, the the fast version. I was like, yeah. So I looked it up, and then that's what I got. Sabre, yeah, but the trouble is, um, Sabre tuning, I phoned them up. Not only are they quite far away, so I'd have to put it on a trailer to get it there. They wanted 850 quid to do all the work, to map it all and do everything. And it's... I don't want to keep going over it and keep saying it over and over again because you're just going to get annoyed and keep going, well, it's all about money, but it is. <laughs> I thought about selling it. I think I'm probably going to end up selling that car, to tell you the truth, because it's not the sort of car for me, for someone like me. Um, you need to be able to just get it up and running and going. And once all the work's done to it and it's going, um, you know, it won't cost much to keep it to keep it going, but it's getting it to that stage where it's worthy. That is the trouble. That's what it needs. Um, you know. And it needs some paint work. It's starting to rust around the arches. Hello, mate. Who said that? Steve. Hello there, Steve. How are you doing now, dude? Sell it and spend the money on RC bits. Yeah. Oh, well, if I do sell it, the money is going to need to go on some much more important things than RC bits, unfortunately, there, Andrew. As much as I'd like to spend it on that. Gonna have to try and get an extension on the bungalow. I think have to try and go up a bit, uh, get a bit more space. Got to take the dog out for a wee. I'll be back in a minute. All right then, Colin. That's all right. Can't you just put it in the bathroom and just tell it where the toilet is, or get it a chamber pot? I found a chamber pot the other day. Would you believe it? I was walking along the road and there's a chamber pot in the bush. <laughs> Some of you lot probably don't know what a chamber pot is. If you don't know what a chamber pot is, put it in the comment now. You don't know what a chamber pot is. Love RC bits, especially nitro. Yep, everyone loves a bit of nitro. Electric's boring there, um, Steve. His wife wait wanting a boob job. <laughs> no. Funnily enough, she don't like them. They're too big. <laughs> she, she does. She said she's always moaning about them. Oh, they're heavy. Hmm. Ah. There we go. Oh well. You lucky. Well, yeah. You could say it like that. I suppose. I don't get to see him though. <laughs> I don't get to see him. For those of you, for those of you that have only not long joined here, um, there's a new microphone. I know I'm telling you that they've already seen it. New microphone coming up, yeah. New microphone coming up for some CB videos on the other channel. CB videos coming up. Radios and microphones coming up. Advertising. I'm advertising. Where do you recommend buying a new RC Nitro from? Well, I recommend. They and they deliver. Where are you, Mike? Mike, tell me where you are. I don't know where you are. Sorry. 
Any more videos on the rush coming up? Yes, Steve, there is going to be videos on both rushes coming up as soon as I can do them. They're on the plans, they're in my mind. Um, just bear with me on them if you're specifically waiting, um, Steve, for videos on the rush. If you wouldn't mind, just like I said, actually, funnily enough, the engines are on the bench. Um, it's just time, it's the trouble. Um, Mike, oh. right, well. A bit far to travel personally, but active scale models they will they don't have too much they've got a lot of stock actually, but they don't have too much as out of the ordinary, depending on what you want. But they'll get you anything you want. So active scale models, they're my local model shop, but they do deliver. Um and you know they're good prices, nice people, they've got a small little shop, it's a bit probably a bit far for you to travel, Mike. Um but have a look on their website, active scale models. Um yeah, the website is a bit basic, um, but if you want something in particular, just forgive my phone call. I would recommend them, if you ask, you ask me who I'd recommend, I'd recommend them. Go to Model Sport, or Will Spin Models, but Model Sport are the big giant, you probably already know, I'm telling you anyway, but they're the big giant and they buy all the stock in and all the little shops don't get to buy the stock, you know what I mean? So I don't like to go to the Model Sport unless I have to, because they've got enough money, you know? I like to try and promote the smaller ones so have a look at active scale models there who asked that mike have a look at them uh lawrence hello hello there how you doing i'm restoring a rush at the moment steve oh what one are you restoring then steve is it the earlier one just the rush or is it the rush evo which is the red one the yellow one or the red one the the yellow one is the earlier one you probably know i don't know what i'm telling you you probably know if you're restoring one there steve um, but i've got both as you probably know Evo, ah, yeah. So what, I bet you've got a perfectly working engine, haven't you? I've had a bit of mishaps with the engine uh, on my one. Just got back from work, I'm good, thanks. Good, where do you work, Lawrence? What do you do for a living? Sorry, mate, I had to say good night. I stayed in my truck Monday to Friday. Oh, right, do you, Tim? <laughs> What's it like, where are you staying, anywhere nice? No need, engine Oh, you need an engine and all, do you, Steve? Is that what you're saying? You need an engine as well? Yeah, they're hard to come by, man. They're bloody hard to come by. Me measure turbine plates for jet engine. Do ya? What, what country are you in then, Lawrence? What country are you in then, dude? Uh, oh, Warrington. <laughs> I don't know, I've never I've ever been there. Um. I'm buying my first nitro car next week and maybe get into racing on the weekends. And there are loads of places for me to take it where I live, thinking about buying a rush for my first You can't buy them anymore, they don't sell them. You have to buy them second hand. I'd recommend getting one, but you never know what you're going to get. UK, England. Oh, right then, Lawrence. That's nice, isn't it? Jet engines, eh? see a video the other day where someone was on a jet and the engine fell apart while they were flying and then that would have been all right because that particular model that I do know that, that particular model can fly on one engine but the other engine caught fire <laughs> it was a video someone was filming it out the window it was on uh what was it, on? it might have even been on YouTube I can't remember now racing is very different to just taking it out of the park yeah it is I want to get back into racing <laughs> Uh, I want to go and race that MP9. Trouble is, there's no race tracks around here. I think there's one in South End, but I don't think that's a proper race track. I don't know what that is. I don't go to places on my own. I don't mix well with people. That's the trouble, see? People always take me the wrong way, you know, and I don't end up mixing very well with them. I need to go as a group, because then people who know me sort of stand up. Not stand up for me. I don't need standing up for, but... Oh, I don't know what it is. Um... You saw that, did you? Yeah. It, it might have even been on TV. I, don't know. I saw it somewhere. There's a rush on Facebook marketplaces. Though I don't have Facebook. Whoever wanted to rush, go and buy it from Facebook. But I don't have it. It's poison. Facebook is poison. Um, have you seen Colin? Yes, I have. Colin Furs. I've been watching Colin Furs' channel since he first started it. He's a funny old chap. Um, scary stuff. We made our own. You made your own what? Hold on, I'm um, behind. Made your own what? Track. You mean you made your own track? I'd love to make my own track. I would. 
kind of cut the brush on me by uh, and, uh, now I'm going to get a lot of practice before I think about racing yeah well you do you do you can't really just go and race can you you need to practice you, what you need right for someone like me where I used to live with my mum and dad it was all right because I could go out and go down the farm and I could just go anywhere and do whatever but now where I live now I live in like a little it's not a village it's a small town I suppose and it's all old people and there's no places around here for me to go and take a car. I, I need to find, I want to buy a, like, a piece of land, I can make my own little track, and that's what I want to do. That's, that's the aim of the game. The money that I'm making, the small pennies at the moment, at the moment, that I'm making from this YouTube, is all going in a bank account. Well, at least it was, until I needed to pay off some debts. But, it's all going to go into a bank account, and I'm going to buy a piece of land. And then, you know, that's when things are really going to pick up. You'll be seeing RC Sparks number two then. Well... Don't hold me to that because it never happened. Because everything I say like that don't happen. It's just the way things go. Uh, I mean, good to see you online again, Paul Smith. Oh, well, was you here on the last one then, Paul? Was you? Sorry, I, I probably should remember, but I don't remember stuff like that. Too much things going around in your brain, you know. Check out this old Yesu microphone, eh? For those of you in the radio, look at that. That's, that's from the 80s, that is. So what's going on then, eh? I don't know whether we've stopped or what. We've still got 11 people watching, though. <laughs> Look at that. Yes. Am I getting popular or what? And we've got three... It's interesting, because up there it says I've got seven thumbs up and 13 people watching. But on here, where I'm reading these comments, it says 11 people watching and 3 thumbs up. I reckon we've got a bit of a delay somewhere. Have I sold that Savage yet? No, I haven't sold this Savage yet, there, Lawrence. That's still there. Um, no one wants to buy it, because I'm asking far too much money for it. I've advertised it on the MSUK forum. No one has replied to that, but I don't expect them to, because I know that I'm asking a lot of money for it. But like I've explained in the past, it, me mate there wants the top dollar for it. And I told him it was worth that, because that is what it's worth to the right person, that's the top dollar. I shouldn't have said that, I should have said oh, it's only worth 150, because then he would have just been like, alright oh, then, sell it for 150. And it would, it would have gone, but I didn't, I'm too honest, that's the trouble. Yeah, it says seven, it only says three on here, huh. And I'm watching myself back, that's how I'm doing it. I've got on on my channel, on this iPad thing, I can't see a lot because the screen is smashed and everything, but I'm watching myself back with the volume down and I'm reading the comments. And you know, it's so, I've got the urge to keep the type back to you. And then I think to myself, I don't got to type back because I am the star of the show. <laughs> I, keep thinking, I keep looking at it thinking I'm going to have to type back. Where are we? How much are you after for it? Well, Mike, he won 250 quid. Yeah, um, he said I'll take a bit less. I asked him earlier on because I see him at swimming, um, and I, I said, "Look," he said, "Any news on it?" And I said, "No, no, he's, we're asking too much there, Ryan." And he said, "Oh, I'll take a bit less," um, you know. Yeah, that's what I mean. I, if I because it, you lot know as well as I do that that savage in that condition. It's mint, it's not got any modifications apart from the um, the hump pack and the uh, foul safe that I put on it. Other than that, it's got no modifications, it's near enough mint, there's a few scratches underneath it, but the rest of it, there's nothing wrong with it. It's perfect. And so you lot know as well as I do that they, it is worth the 250 quid, but it's got to be to the right person. And that not everyone's going to want to pay that. So, because I told him that, now that's what he wants. Yeah, a wooden leg. <laughs> well, you don't know what I'm trying to say, didn't you? Hey, eh? I'm into a collector. Someone who collects the savages in the mint condition, it's worth that to him. But for anyone who wants to buy it, to, to smash it up as what it's designed to be used for, they're not going to want to pay that. They're going to want to pay 150, 200 maximum, you know. But that's the way it goes, you know, I'm not bothered. I'd like it to stay here. I'd like to I'd like to keep it for as long as possible because then eventually I might be, have enough money and I can buy it myself. Mm 
Northwest London. Well, Northwest London ain't that far away there, Mr. Paul. I'm um, near South End. You know, South End. I'm down at South End, pretty much. I've got a few people in London. I wouldn't go back to London. I went to London and it was the worst experience of my life. I don't know how you lot live there. It's horrible. Absolutely horrible. And I'm a positive person, but London <laughs> gave me... I went. I drove there to pick up a generator, and I drove there at 8 o'clock in the morning, and I was stuck in London. I got home at quarter past seven at night. Right? And the worst experience of my life. And then we went to London for the, the New Year's fireworks in 2012. Might have been 2000, 2013, actually. Anyway, we went there for New Year's fireworks. Um, got squashed by Chinese people. And then they shut the trains off. I have no time or respect for any public transport anymore. Um, nitro can be difficult to get rid of. It can be because people are too lazy. And all they want to do is have electric. Where you plug a battery in and it goes. No maintenance. No, she let me mouth. Do you remember when I said about HBO going into liquidation? Well, they've been saved by another company, but I'm not quite sure what company is yet. I can't... What company was it? Oh, for the love of bloody bacon sandwiches. I did know what the company was because I read the article. It was on the MSUK forum and it was in the news section because I monitor that. I check it every day. I can't remember what the company was, but yes, they've been saved, and they're going to bring out some new cars by the end of the year, uh, and parts as well. And apparently they're going to bring out parts for Savages and all the other older cars to keep it going. So that's quite exciting, but I can't remember what the company's called. Hey, co how, the, how the hell do you say that? Cocos, cocosness? How do you say that? I don't know how you say that. But hi, how you doing? It's good to be a collector of hate spell, otherwise I won't get the money. I've tried selling mine, and no one is interested anymore. And services, they say that they break down easy. Mine. No, mine. You see, my Savage or my Rush is never broke. I don't understand. People are like, they always break. They don't have a break. HPR was a bloody good mate. Yes. Did I say it right then there? Cocosness. <laughs> What's that? Is that your name, or is that just something you've called yourself? Because obviously Haggard ain't my name. <laughs> That's what I'm all about. That's good though, I like that. That's a good YouTube name. That was a bit of a delay, Paul. South End, I said that about half hour ago. <laughs> Maybe we got a delay on the comments or something. Maybe you typed it when I said it, and it could just come up. I love a bacon sandwich. Yeah, so do I. I'm going to have one in a minute. I'm, oh, bloody hell, look at time. I said to her, I said, I'm just going to go out in the garage for 15 minutes. Um, <laughs> I've been out here now. How long have we been out here? 33 minutes and 37 seconds. Holy moly. Uh, I despise London transport. Uh, oh, bloody dunno. You look like you're in a utility room or sat on the toilet. Well, I'm certainly not in the toilet and I'm not in a utility room either. No, I'm out in the garage there, dude. It's a garage where I am, or what I'm in. Mean. It's a garage. Well, you can't see because it's this. Like this is the back of the garage. This is. I I boarded it out and insulated it and put carpet in it and things like that, so that in the winter I come out here. And I've got this. I've got a CB radio and you have a chat to a few friends and things like that. You know, it's nice. It's heated. I did want to put air conditioning in here, but then it got expensive and I couldn't afford it. So I thought, yeah, leave that. I'll just keep the heater in here for the winter. Um, where are we? Have you never have you never seen in this room then, Tim? You never seen in here then, no? You'd know where I am otherwise. German, it means coconut. Are you from Germany then? I don't know I don't know if I'm saying that right. Cocosness. Co <laughs> I ain't got a clue. That's quality though, man. I tried to learn German once. I can't remember any of it now, though. Get an aircon unit. Must yeah, I've got one of those portable ones to put indoors, right? 
you wheel it around on wheels and you have like the front the the vent that comes out the back but that's that is the trouble with those you have to put the vent somewhere don't you like a bloody tumble dryer um switzerland well then dude i'm assuming you're a dude you could be a dude yet i mean i don't know but that's quality i have are you subscribed? You must be subscribed. I've got someone watching from Switzerland. Have we got any Americans? And we definitely got English people on here. We've got English people. We've got one from Switzerland. I'm assuming he's in Switzerland now. We've got any in America. We had Americans last time. Wales. That's a different country. In my head anyway. <laughs> I know it's a, a long way yet. But what are you doing for the countdown for Christmas? Edward. I don't know if I want to tell you. I've already got it in my head, but I don't know if I want to say what it is yet. I might leave it for a surprise. I don't know. I was thinking about doing one on this channel and one on the other channel, but then that's just going to be bloody hard. Unless I film it in advance, but then that's not going to be the same vibe because I had fun last year filming it day by day. I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, I do know what I'm going to do, but I don't know if I'm going to do one on each channel. But Christmas, if it goes to plan in my head, it's going to be bloody good. And I want to do... Oh no, I don't know if I'm going to... I've already gone and I've oh, said it now. I want to do a proper big Christmas giveaway and do it so it ends before Christmas. So it arrives as a Christmas present to someone. And I want to wrap it up and everything. But that's only what I want to do. And, you know, but... I probably shouldn't have said that because then people were going to get their hopes up. But that's what I want to do anyway. South Wales. So we've got a couple of Welsh. One Switzerland. English. A couple of Wel Welshish people. Barry. That's where... Uh, Barry Island. That's where uh, Gavin and Stacey was, wasn't it? I have to go. Bye. I'll see you later then, Cockersness. Thanks for being around. Sorry that you couldn't stick around. But I appreciate you being there. Really nice of you. Hope to see you in, you know, commenting and things like that and other things. It's August. Yeah, I know it's August. What are you on about? It? London. Yep, we know about London. Huh. Well... I, d I still find it crazy that people in different countries, you know, can watch me now. 15 people. Well, this one still says 11. And 10 thumbs up. This one still says 3. Perhaps it needs refreshing. I don't know. Right. Anyway, I've got 20% battery on this iPad. And I've got... Well, I've had the low power warning come up on the telephone there. So I'm going to have to go soon. I'm from Devon. Phil, well done. I was in Devon uh, earlier this year. Applebee. Was it Applebee? Apple Door. Yeah, Apple Door, I think it was. Not Applebee. Apple Door. I know they're both places. I think it was definitely Apple Door. Don't know. Or is that in Harry Potter? No, that's Dumbledore, isn't it? Hmm. People last time Christmas shopping now, haven't they? Eh? It's mad. I think Harrods has already got their Christmas display up. Harrods. In London, that crazy place, Harrods. Plymouth. Been to Plymouth. Bloody good place in Plymouth. Went to Plymouth and there was a um, nice beach over there, wherever we went. Time is flying fast. Do you know what makes me really happy? You all seem, all you lot here now seem to be regulars, don't you? You all seem to be people that I see commenting on videos and you always come up on here when I do a live. That is incredible. That really is to think that, you know, people are regularly sticking around. I don't know whether the comments are frozen or what. There's not a lot happening on there, but yeah, it's, uh, it's really good. Thanks, Lawrence. Hi. Mark! Oh, look, there's old Mark. How you doing there, dude? How's it going? I'll put a link to Mark's video for the rest of you. He made a video on his Mar Dave Marauder. I'll put that in the link to the video on my Marauder, see? No, I'll put that in the link to the... I'll put the link to his video in the description to my... 
of my video. So go and check that out because that's a good old video. These ones mint. That's the fun of having a nitro. Run it, break it, fix it. Well, yeah. I mean, I always try not to break mine. <laughs> a lot of people out there, they they, they jump around, and uh, you're welcome, Mark. They jump around. I hope you make some more videos, Mark. You know. Um. Yeah. A lot of people they they do jumps and things, and they look and it's not broken yet. Let's try again, and they do it again. Oh, it's still not broken. Let's go again. Well, as I'm like, well, I've done four four jumps and it ain't broke yet. I think I'll call it a day. <laughs> but while I'm ahead, yeah, I used to that rush used to go up half pipe. The savage did as well. The savage used to go up the half pipe like that. Obviously, because the half pipe was vertical, isn't it? At the end, slightly flicked. It used to go up like that, and then it would because it slightly flicks at the end of a half pipe, didn't it? It wouldn't sort of come back down again. It go over there somewhere, and then it would land flat on the ground, and it'd go off. You know, they all would. Bloody, you know, I don't know how people bend chassis and, and snap all the axles on things because it never happened to me, you know. I used to go flat out up a half pipe. I used to go flat out across the park. I mean, I'll have to show you a lot one day. I'll have, to, I'll have to show you. Flat out, up there like that. Second gear. I bent my hyper. Yeah, I don't know how people do it. I mean, that rush, the rush is that is taking some batterings, and that was straight as a bloody pipe. You have just got to learn to look after stuff. You, that, that's a lot of the trouble. People don't look after things, you know. But I like things to look like they haven't been looked after. That's that's what I like. I think I've explained it before, and the reason why I changed the channel name. I like things to look run down and as if they've just been abused. I like that look, you know. Same with me real sized cars. The Land Rover, you know, I don't fix stuff that hangs off. I let it hang off. Yeah, like a rat rod. Yeah. I mean, I've never had the guts to do it. To want, I had an old Land Rover, and I really wanted to just sand all that, let it rust, and then lacquer it. Um, so all the whole shell was all rusty. Uh, and I, the arches were all hanging off and everything. I, I let it be like that. Had no floor pan or nothing. That all rusted away. Um, you know. But I've never. I wouldn't do. It. I'd love to get like a proper old, proper old car that's pretty much had it body work wise anyway, and just let that just go rusty and drive around. Like an old mini or something. They do say the rush is more of one for the side. Yeah. Yeah, it is quite solid. I wouldn't do it now, you see. See, as you grow up, as you get older, you have more respect for things. See, back then, I liked to look after me stuff, but at the same time, I didn't have much respect. Like, I don't know how to say it. I did have respect for my stuff, like for the nitro cars. I don't know how to sort of say it really. Like I looked after them and didn't want to break them, but at the same time, I suppose it is what they're designed for. You know, when I I didn't kind of think that jump there could be the death of this, I just went for it. And then after three or four goes of it and it weren't broken, that's when I'd call it a day. But now I'd look at a half pipe and I'd be like, you know what, that has only got a land on a front wheel or a bit dodgy or upside down and that'll be the death <laughs> then I'd have to fix it and it would cost me a lot of money perhaps that's why because back then I didn't have to actually pay for everything my mum and dad paid for it in a way because it was my pocket money so I didn't have to earn the money but now I go out and work bloody hard to earn the money to buy the stuff that I have so I that's why I'm always thinking about I better not do that because it might break and then I'll have to pay to fix it I think that's what it's all about Not at all. Cosmetics don't mean anything to me there, Tim. I don't like, you know, the way things look. I mean, people moan at me that where I'm working at the moment, the person in charge, the supervisor, and it's his wife as well, they work together. They work together. They like the machines, the shovels, the diggers, everything to be spick and span, to be properly clean they wash them and brush them and clean them i used to do that when i first started driving machines i used to clean the tractor and things but i like everything to be sort of dirty 
I clean all, dig all the tracks out and make sure everything's greased and all the oil and everything's all good mechanically. What you work as? I drive heavy plant. I drive heavy machinery. Yeah, I drive a bulldozer at the moment on a on a landfill tip. We know like the rubbish. Is anyone watching um, the Secret Life of Your Rubbish? It's on Channel Five at the moment. Um, that's what I, that's where I'm working. I used to work in quarries, doing the quarrying, getting out stone, coal, and not necessarily coal, but that quarrying, you know, sand, ballast, um, built and building golf courses and things. But now I'm working on a rubbish tip. Anyway. So I make sure everything's mechanical, but me mechanically sound and look after things. But I like—I don't like washing the machine. I like it to look like it's just—it's had an hard life. I like that. You see, and they all go, "Why don't you wash that bloody machine?" I'm like, "No, I like it dirty." <laughs> it's just it's my preference. Right? I enjoy testing the limits when jumping. If a black fit works. And try double backflip and see if that works. Triple backflip. Yeah, I'm the same, but you know, it's where I've got a bit older and a bit of more of an eye. I sort of just think, is it really a wise idea? You know, if something was given to me for free, if someone sponsored me and gave me a nitro car and said, look, smash the fuck out of that. Yeah, I would do. And if it broke, I wouldn't care because that's what they give it to me for. But because I paid money for it, <laughs> I don't want to break it. Uh, how do you get into heavy plant? I was thinking of doing it myself. Well, Mayor Edward, there's many ways of getting into it, really. Um, I got into it because... Um, well, to start it off... My dad worked on a farm, and so I used to just go down there when I was a kid to mess around with the tractors and things. And then obviously, he knew people, and my dad's friend went off the farm to go and work for a company driving a digger. And then I needed a job because I used to be a fabrication welder, but then I that company went out of business, so I needed a job. And my dad got hold of his friend, and he said, there's a job driving a tractor and a place I know, so I went there to drive a tractor. Uh, and then from that, I got friendly with the people driving the heavy plant, the diggers and the blades and the, the dozers and shovels and things, and I had little goes on them here and there, and then I just worked my way up. But there's many ways of getting into it. You know, you can just go and do a, a two-week course to get your card, or your ticket for whatever it is you want to drive. If you want to drive a digger, go and do a training course. Then you've got your ticket. All right, you haven't got experience, and a lot of companies won't take you on unless you've got driving experience, but some people will. And then you just work your way up from there. But it, it, you can't just walk into it. That's You can't. You, you need... I mean, me, I'm not an operator. I don't call myself an operator. I've only been driving heavy plant for nine years. So I don't call myself an operator, I call myself just a person that sits in a seat. Because you need to be doing it for 20 odd years to about call yourself a good operator. That's in my view anyway. I, I just make a mess. Uh, I'm a mechanical engineer, I love to fix things. Yeah, I like fixing things, but then I, I don't like fixing things. I got offered, in my old job, I got offered a job as a fitter, as a mechanic, fixing the plant. Because they knew that I like to fix my own cars. And I used to be, I used to do the welding and everything, but I was like, no, I don't want it. They're like, we'll give you a van. I was like, no, I don't want to. I don't want to do it. No, I don't. I'd rather be breaking the plant, not bloody fixing it. <laughs> Sitting there in the bloody snow, you know, in the cold weather, not being able to feel your hands, and trying to reach up and do a bloody prop shaft on a torque converter or something. Nah, not for me. Need an epic card. What's an epic card then, Tim? Breaking is part of the fun for me. It breaks, I will be sad. But it gives me an excuse to upgrade something. Yep, yeah, that is true. When something breaks, whether it's on a real car or an RC car or anything for that matter, even when I used to do the motocross, oh, if, if me if my bike broke, then I'd go and buy something that's better and upgraded. Only that would have CRF 450 full of anodized parts and acroprovic, acro whatever you pronounce it, exhaust and all that stuff. You know, it's just. Also get to work on your see more when it breaks. Yeah, true. You would love to get into fixing heavy plant. I'm more of a heavy industry machine. Ah. Health and safety. Epic. 
Health and Safety CSCS, isn't it? Well, mine's a C is it CSCS? CPCS is the ticket for the blade. CSCS is the Health and Safety. I'm pretty sure it is. It's been a, well, I ain't had to renew it for a while. It's been about eight years since I've done my, I'm pretty sure it's CSCS, not E EPIC or EPIC, whatever you called it. No, I'm pretty sure it's CSCS. Health and Safety CSCS. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. I mean, I ain't got me, me wallet. My me wallet's indoors. That's got me ticket in it. I could have had a look and showed you my card, but it ain't. Well, I wouldn't have showed you because it's got me address on it, but I'll have had a look. I'm pretty sure it's CSCS. Not me. Unless there's another one. I won't know that. Yeah. yeah, I thought it was CSCS. And then CPCS is where you go to go and get your tickets to drive the plant. Yeah, you've got the other one. What do you do then, Paul? I can't mean you probably said, I can't remember what he is now. But you've got the other one that no one really has. And then everyone had CSCS, didn't they? But not a lot of people had the other one that I can't remember the name of. A few people had it, but it weren't really recognised. So now you've got CSCS and this other one emerging together. It must be CPC then they're going to merge to. I know they're going to merge together because they were saying about everyone's going to have to go and renew it. I think mine's up for renewal in about four years. You get five years on it, didn't you? And I've done it last year. Renewed it. Yeah. I know that they're going to merge. I know someone has just gone and got the whole... Whatever the other one is. I can't remember. It's, 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 is it T-Pack or something like that? Oh, I don't know what it's like. Anyway, I know someone's just gone and got all of that. And now they're saying that the companies ain't going to recognise that. He's got to have this other one. And he not, he's not very happy about it. Because he's just spent like a £1,000 getting that other one. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to have to go you lot. 15% uh, on that one. No, that, that, that said low power long time ago. I'm surprised this telephone's still going. You know, I had to do it when I did some work for Hanson. Yeah. iPad. What's an iPad? You mean iPad? Yeah, I've got one of my iPad things, but the screen's all smashed, you know. Found it in a drawer, and I thought I'd turn it on and see what happens. And it works, obviously, because I'm using it now to look at the comments. But the screen's all smashed on it. Right, so, we've gone a little bit quiet then. Not a lot happening there. Still got 17. There's 17 people. 17 of you lot out there are watching me. Out of 1,100 people. But 17 is... 18! Holy cow, we've got another one coming up. Look at that. iPad is the... Oh, right. <laughs> I thought you were talking about iPad. <laughs> yep, yep. All right then, Tim. Uh, yep, I'm definitely going to be off now. I'm going to say seven threes to all of you. Those of you that are in the radio know what that means. 73... Yep, Colin, we're going to have to go and do a bit of exploring, Colin. I know it's taken a long time, mate, but you know what it's like. Life is just crazy. Just finished fixing up an old... A what? I don't know what that is. And giving it to my daughter tonight. So it's first car. I'll be going down tomorrow night for the first drive. Oh, well, Mark, have a good time with that. I'm not familiar with that. I might be familiar with that if I was to see it, but I don't know what it is by the, make the model letters of it. I ain't got a clue. <laughs> yep, see you later, Phil. Uh, see you later, Andrew. Yeah, Colin, like I said, it, it, we'll have to do it at some point before they knock them houses down. We'll go and explore them, but I don't know. It's just, it's just time is what I can say. Hey, that's all it is. I ain't got enough of it. A bit like a rush. All right then, Mark. Well, mate, can you make a video of it? Well, uh, you know, I'd like to see a video of it. You know, maybe, maybe when you go out tomorrow or something, that'd be nice. Everyone go and have a look at um, Mark's channel. And Colin. Colin's got a channel. In fact, everyone, I tell you what, why doesn't everyone just click on each other and go and look at everyone's channels? Because then you can all, you know, some people make good stuff. Colin makes good stuff. Mark makes good stuff. Right. Yep, that's it. I've got to say bye, because otherwise what will happen is I'll sit here saying bye, and then I'll keep talking, and then ten hours later I'll say bye again. And then... Anyway, I'm off. Take care, everyone. Um, have a good evening and a
good week and everything and I'll make a video to go up on Saturday because that's what I'm going to have to do because that is what I do. Bye bye. How do we turn it off? I forget every bloody time how you turn this thing off. Right, there we go. That's it. Bye bye.